This is a map of snowfall recorded so far this winter along the East Coast. Close to home here in the Carolinas, outside of the mountains, we haven't seen any measurable snowfall. That actually remains to be the case as we travel up the East Coast. Places in the Mid-Atlantic and even the Northeast, like Philadelphia and New York City, still have not seen their first measurable snowfall. This is pretty common in a place like Columbia, where we average around 1.3 inches of snow per year. Travel just north to Charlotte, North Carolina, and they have never gone a winter without recording some snowfall. For a coastal city like Norfolk, Virginia, Tegna Chief Meteorologist Evan Stewart says this lack of snow isn't much of a concern for them yet. Three of our biggest snows have been in February and March. But uh, when it comes to the average of the whole month, January is usually our snowiest month. This lack of snow so far has potentially even been a benefit for the coastal city. Um, if your family is spending a week in Colonial Williamsburg or out at the ocean front, you know, you would rather it be a little bit warmer. And Approaching the nation's capital, that story begins to change. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Corey, I've not seen a pattern locked in like this for this length of time since I can remember forecasting. Tegna Chief Meteorologist Topper Shutt says Washington, D.C., along with other cities in the Mid-Atlantic, are without snow as this unseasonably warm pattern continues. While New York City is approaching its latest measurable snowfall ever recorded, places like D.C. still have a way to go before they begin to break records. The well, latest measurable snow uh, is uh, February 23rd, so we still got some time to beat to beat that. But uh, looking ahead to the pattern, it just it's not looking. Um, we got a little bit, maybe a chance, uh, you know, on on Wednesday here of just a little bit of snow for kicks to rain. For those of you snow lovers out there, it looks like there could be some bad news going into February. The Climate Prediction Center is still indicating a warmer air mass along the East Coast as we head into the next month. From the WLTX studios, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith.